try five of wands. This card is referred to Deborah of the suit of fire. Deborah itself being fiery, it is a purely active, force. It is ruled also by Saturn and Leo. Leo shows the element of fire at its strongest and the most balanced. Saturn tends to weigh it down and to imbit it. There is no limit to the scope of this volcanic energy. The symbol represents the wand of the chief adept, showing that the authority is derived from the superiors, were it not so, this card would be thoroughly disastrous. Moreover, there are also two wands of the second, or major adept. They have the head of the phoenix, which gives the idea of destruction, or rather purgation, through fire, and the resurrection of the energy from its ashes. There is also a pair of wands of the third, or minor, adept, which are daughters, so to speak, of the ones in the three of ones. In this card there is the mitigating influence of the mother. One of the most difficult doctrines with regard to Deborah is that, while it represents all this tameless irrational energy and disturbance, yet it derives from the benign and gentle influence of the feminine. The Egyptians understood this doctrine perfectly. Their lion goddess, Pasht, was hailed as Sefa and Ferox, was even called red in tooth and claw by those fanatical devotees who wished to identify her with nature. The idea of sexual cruelty is often inherent in the highest divine nature, compare Bhavani and Kali in the Hindu system, and observe the Shiva Sakti coition portrayed on many Tibetan banners. See also Libba 418,40h, 3rd, and 2nd death eyes, and the description supra of Atu 11.